welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with Oracle S-Base Calc Scripts. This video explains the Boolean function at is attribute. At is attribute gives you a true if the member you are currently calculating has the attribute that you specify. Like the at attribute function, at is attribute takes a single argument. What is the attribute you want to check and see if this member has it? So attribute name is just any member of an attribute dimension. Now for non-string dimensions or dimensions where there might be ambiguity, you have to preface it. So in our example here, 32 could be an ounce size. It could be the population of a really tiny town. So we have to say ounces underscore 32. Or in a Boolean example, we might have true and false in multiple dimensions. So I need to tell it I want true from caffeinated. So I could say caffeinated underscore true. Now if attribute name isn't in the outline or isn't specified the way SBase expects it, it doesn't return false. It actually returns an error. It says error executing formula invalid member name in the function. This is a Boolean function, so it returns a true true, which is a one, or a false, which is a zero. Now, because it returns a one or a zero, you can use it outside of an if, it's just not normally the way it's done. But there are plenty of times when by using this is, you can get yourself out of an if. That's a good idea, because ifs are really slow. In our example, product is our base dimension. I'm only showing the children of product 100, which is colas for now. You'll see 100-10 and 100-20 come in 12 ounce sizes. I have no idea how many grams or kilograms that actually is. Sorry, I'm metric ignorant. 100-30 comes in 16 ounce sizes only. So my at is attribute function on ounces 16 will return true in this example only for 100-30. I made it say ounces underscore 12, it would return true for 100-10 and 100-20, but it would return false for 100-30.